Well, it was a warm and muggy night here at Melching Field. We expected and got a dynamite starting pitching performance, but some timely hitting by the Hatters in the later innings helped Stetson snap a four-game losing streak. They get out of here tonight with a 3-1 win over the Citadel in the opener of a three-game series. Indeed, it was knotted up one-to-one -one after a home run from Ben Payton for the Citadel, and then Stetson answered in the uh, bottom of the third inning when Jacob Koo singled and scored on an RBI from Matt Morales. And then moving along to the sixth inning was when the big blow was struck off the bat of Corey Reed as he hit a two-run home run to score himself and Vince Vizcaino, and that proved to be the difference maker in this ball game. Even Mother Nature couldn't get in the way of the Hatters. We endured an hour rain delay, but Mitchell Jordan was strong enough to win his third game. J.P. Sears, who struck out 19 last weekend against VMI, wasn't quite that good today, but he was still good. He just made one bad pitch at the wrong time to the wrong guy, and that two-run homer by Reed in the bottom of the sixth inning was the difference as Stetson wins for the first time since March 20th. That's just how slim the margin of victory can be sometimes, and uh, Stetson was able to find a way to win, and uh, they go for uh, eight hits on the evening, all totaled against the uh, Bulldogs five. Vance Vizcaino led Stetson with a pair of hits. Morales, Reed, Austin Hale, Jack Michonis, Jacob Coos uh, each had one hit. Coos had a dynamite play in left field to rob at least extra bases from the Citadel, if not a home run. Walker Scheller nailed it down to get the seventh save. Your final score again from Melching Field, Stetson 3, Citadel 1.